Is it recording? Yes. All right, so I'm doing an update on this Wilson Blade 98 trial. The only reason why I'm doing this is I love the racket. I, I got it and it gave me the minimum specifications to string it between 47 and 57 pounds, respectively. So I strung it at first with a monofilament cross and a polyester main at about 47 and 49 pounds. Hitting with it, everything was dead. Good shots, I could feel it, feel it, but it, I didn't have a lot of response uh, coming off of my string bed. Boom, I was clipping the tape or short balls, short balls. My wife was coming in and just creaming it. So I cut the strings out last night and I strung this with a full bed of polyester uh, instead of having a, uh, a multi-filament cross and strung it with a full bed of Selenco Hyper G 16 gauge at about 57 pounds. The, the 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 max of the specs on the racket um love it hits great feel everything boom nice depth backhands i hit a one-hander bow a lot of control a lot of feel so all in all uh i'm gonna give it obviously a couple more days because you get the new racket syndrome you hit with the new racket and you finally figure it out and it feels so great uh and then you realize it, it may not be as good as you thought it was but uh, my third part of this, I would say that's much better with a full bed of polyester. I uh, strung it a higher tension. Um, unless you want to generate your own power. I mean, I felt like if it was strung less with the multi-filament, I had to really come in and hit really hard to generate power. But with this, a little tighter, I feel like I can hit and be loose with it uh, and still get good results. So, for right now, I'm saying the Wilson Blade 98 is great and much better at a tighter tension. All right? So we need a thousand subscribers, so click subscribe maybe here or over here or somewhere. Uh, but there's good reasons behind that. So click subscribe uh, and keep in touch. Appreciate it. Wilson Blade 98 Review Part 3.